Entering the financial services industry as a stockbroking firm in 1990, Ernst Holdings has expanded into many areas of businesses, including investment advisory, margin trading, wealth management, development of luxury apartments, property brokering and property management, information technology, automobiles and education to become one of Sri Lanka's leading business organizations. Capital Trust Properties has ventured into the real estate sector with the acquiring of a large number of unique properties in Colombo and its suburbs. In its investment portfolio are a five-storied building in Union Place, Colombo 2, a seven-storied building in Duplication Road, Colombo 3, a seven-storey building in Glenny Street, Colombo 2, and 40 other properties. Capital Trust Properties has also partnered with reputed global brands to promote real estate in Sri Lanka and abroad with liaisons of Nye, Frank and Avon Group Limited. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Capital Trust Research Private Limited, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to our research webinar on technical analysis, introduction to new indicators and analyzing high performance stocks, which is the 10th of a continuous series of lectures. On 27th May, 2021, we had a webinar on technical analysis, introduction and chart patterns, and on 26th June 2021, we had a webinar on charts and technical signals. If you have not seen these webinars, it is essential for you to say you have a solid foundation of technical analysis. Capital Securities possesses probably the largest local client base in the Columbus Stock Exchange and in fact was ranked number one in terms of transaction turnover and brokerage turnover in the first quarter 2021 and ranked number one even in the last month. Today's webinar on technical analysis, key takeaways will be introducing new indicators, analyzing high performance stocks with technical indicators. Capital Trust Research has identified fundamentally attractive stocks and has been WhatsApping technical charts of those stocks with indicators to guide clients to buy at the correct time. If you equally bought on January 1st, 2021, the shares on which Capital Trust Research have published comprehensive research reports, your total returns would have been of over 125% year to date. It is my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Sarat Rajapaksa. It is not incorrect if I say that it is Mr. Rajapaksa who introduced authentic technical analysis to the Sri Lankan capital markets. He held top managerial roles over the years abroad and in Sri Lanka. He was a director of securities and is presently a director of Capital Trust Colombo, Great Colombo Economic Commission, now BUI. And he was an assistant director, senior consultant for the UNDP, UNICEF, and UNESCO. He has over 40 years of experience in technical analysis and trading in the forex markets and stock markets in Hong Kong, Australia, and Sri Lanka. Mr. Rajapaksa has a Master of Financial Management and Economics from the University of Curtin, Western Australia, Master of Finance with Honours in Financial Risk Management from the prestigious University of Massey, New Zealand, Master of Economics from the University of Colombo, Bachelor of Science from the University of Peralania. He is also a Fellow of the Institute of Training and Development and member of the British Institute of Management. You could type your questions in the chat screen during the presentation. Please limit your questions today to technical indicators only. Mr. Rajapaksa will be happy to answer popular questions as and when you see it. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, do another presentation on uh, technical market uh, indicators. We have a whole heap of indicators presented, but to that, we are going to add some more indicators, uh, which are a little more complex than uh, what we have hitherto been uh, 
producing. Uh, uh, we have already uh, introduced uh, one of them without uh, uh, explaining it, but so we will be explaining that also, that is the stochastics. And, uh, uh, and, and uh, two more indicators to see that uh, you fully understand the technical situation of the market. Let me start by, since uh, I'm hard pressed for time, uh, uh, we are going to cover about uh, 100, uh, over 100 slides. So we have to go quite quickly. And uh, uh, let me start by, uh, Introducing the three new indicators we are going to introduce today, which is the number one is the stochastic uh, oscillator. The stochastic oscillator uh, was uh, created by Dr. George C. Lane and uh, extensively used in major securities markets, right? And uh, sometimes some traders use it exclusively. They don't want to know about anything else, but they look at the percentage K and percentage D and trade. They feel that uh, the They feel that the <coughs> feedback they get from percentage K and percentage D is sufficient to make uh, profitable uh, trading decisions. Let's look at uh, what this uh, percentage K is. It's just the latest closing price minus the highest price reached during the last. Uh, period, okay? And uh, the low, H is the highest price reached during the same period. L is the lowest price reached during the same period as well as in the number of periods, which can be between two to 21 in the period that was considered. D is simply percentage D. We write it as a, so. It's a, a I, I I don't know for what reason he called it percentage K and percentage D. Uh, one is of course a, a percentage. That's the percentage of uh, difference between uh, close and low, and high and low. Uh, but uh, D, though it's called percentage D. It's a three-period three simple moving average. By now, you know what a simple moving average is. We did that in the very first session on the mathematics uh, we use in technical analysis. We saw the difference between an exponential moving average and a simple moving average. Here we have a simple moving average of three periods duration and uh, that is the now interpretation of k and d is that follow this carefully because uh, we don't have to look at the history of uh, k and d with the charts from the very beginning of the trading of the security uh, we don't we have to see the ends of the percentage K and percentage D, the end, right? And uh, if the, that means the current, the last trading days, percentage K and last trading days, percentage D. If the percentage K is more than the percentage D, buy. That's a buy signal. 
if the opposite is true, if the K is below percent D, then sell, right? It's a very simple thing. You don't have to know much mathematics. And uh, I will ask our analysts uh, to highlight the end of it. And mind you, more means higher. Because uh, the scale of the percentage uh, D and percent, uh, sorry, uh, the, the percentage K and percentage D are on the left uh, Y axis. On the right Y axis, is the price of the security concern. Let it be ASI or let it be a share. That is the price that's on the right end of the this one. But we'll put it in a box and show you that we can bring the left Y axis forward and then highlight only the present last few days uh, percentage K and percentage D. If percentage K is more, don't ask questions, buy it. Many people have benefited, not many, vast majority of people have benefited by exclusively using this percentage K and the percentage D. We'll come to it and have a look at it. After looking at the next one we are going to do. Ah, there you are. We have the, the end of the, is higher, see? 94 is here. Right? Uh, this is the Expo Lanka Holdings. If you look at the ASI, it's 96.6 .6 at the moment. Percentage K is extremely high. So, which means buy. People are buying. You also better buy. Right. And uh, the percentage D, which is the simple three period. Uh, Simple moving average is uh, lower, 92.94. Yeah, can see point, can you get the point? Right, and uh, that is the, of course, uh, here. Yeah. 92.94, this one is lower than that one, which is 94. So without uh, asking questions or splitting yes, you just buy it. That is what the uh, vast majority of the traders on various securities do. They look at only this end. I have highlighted this end. Don't uh, we show, we can show it uh, from the beginning of the trading, uh, from, from market uh, beginning uh, and to this day, but it's of no use. We are not looking at these old ones. We are looking at only this end. That end holds the key to your success. If it is about, don't ask questions, just buy it. If this is, if this goes below, Sell. That's it. I hope uh, you have no questions. You can ask questions if you have through the proper channel provided to you. And now, of course, I, we have the second uh, the second uh, indicator we are going to introduce today is accumulation distribution on the AD line. Accumulation means uh, demand for the security is more. That means more people are buying it than 
the, the supply of the particular security. Less people are selling it, more people are buying. You know what is the what is the outcome of that? If people, more people are buying and accumulating the share, right? Then distributors or sellers are in short supply. Naturally, it has to be bid high. It has to be bid at a higher price to uh, get it. So naturally, the share price will skyrocket. That is called the accumulation distribution curve. There you are. This is luck of all times. See, it's uh, going towards the sky there. A D curve is moving almost vertically up, which means uh, you don't have to worry. You just buy that. That's the uh, that's what the A A D curve says: accumulation distribution. That more people uh, accumulating, buying and uh, holding it, than people dumping. It. We'll be reporting that uh, from Monday, the accumulation distribution. Jirendri Anudane, you are, I hope, uh, listening. We'll have to include that in the... When the demand for a security is more than the supply, the security would rise. It's not that the security would rise, it's the security's price would rise. On the other hand, if the reverse is true, that means uh, if the demand for the security is less than the price, less, less than the uh, uh, supply, not the price of the security, it would fall, right? If less than the supply, it will fall, right? These two uh, is uh, depicted by uh, accumulation distribution line. Accumulation distribution line gives a very clear indication of whether more people are buying or more people are selling. Right? Uh, you can see it uh, from the uh, order book also because you have the benefit of seeing the order book. And uh, if uh, if the buyers are jumping on to the seller's side and buying at the seller's price, accumulation of those. There's something that will happen at the same time will be the OBV or the on-balance volume will start moving towards the vertical, from horizontal to a vertical position. That's another indicator which we have, uh, you know, uh, uh, tackled in uh, an earlier program. Sorry. Yeah, right. Next is the average directional index or ADX. It's an indicator measuring the strength of the current trend. Right, irrespective of whether the, the trend is up and up trend or a down trend, which you can easily see whether the prices are going up or down, the trend is more. You see that the uh, accumulation, uh, sorry, average directional index or ADX line will be moving up. On the other hand, when the uptrend or a downtrend is less, it's going flat. You see uh, 
yeah, average directional index will be a flat line. It won't go up or down. On the other hand, uh, you know, we, you can't look at the uh, ADX and say whether market is moving up or down or the share is moving up or down. It will only confirm the trend prevailing, whether uptrend or a downtrend is high or low. If you have a high trend, you get a high value for the ADX. If you have a weak trend, just almost uh, you know uh, going up and down, moving horizontally, then we get the ADX, which is Low. It, it is made from two lines, really, plus DI line, or directional moving index. We call it, uh, this is the positive directional movement index. And the next one, the negative directional movement index. In the case of a downtrend, negative directional movement index will be going up. In the case of an uptrend, positive directional movement index will be going up. So from these lines, you can say whether the trend which is determined by ADA as high or low, whether it's affecting the uptrend or the downtrend. If the prevailing dominant, do, the dominant trend is an uptrend, ADX shows, uh, higher ADX shows a very pronounced uptrend. On the other hand, if the ADX is more, but the minus DI line that is the minus directional movement index line is more, of, uh, we get a downgrade. So this is a, is not telling you whether it's an uptrend or downtrend. ADX line says whether the prevailing trend, uptrend or a downtrend, is high or low. We will be including addition the average uh, directional uh, movement index, ADX, in our future technical output. That's the uh, right. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the. Uh, ADX line. That's the positive, uh, that's the negative, uh, the red one is the negative directional movement index. The green one is the positive directional movement index. Right? The ADX line has turned up, you can see. So overall, the prevailing uh, Increase in trend, which is the positive directional movement index, is rising as indicated by the total ADX. I hope that's very clear to you. I'm going slow, very slowly because these are three new indices which we are going to introduce into our charts. Right? I hope uh, there are no questions. They are like uh, like the Hodi Pota, I have uh, given you a very, I hope I have given you a very clear description of the indices. Right? The important thing is this trend design, this one says the rising trend is the uptrend or the positive directional movement index. And therefore, it says that. Positive directional movement is very high. Right.
Then we come to analyzing high performance stocks. We, the stocks which had been performing in an outstanding manner in the past, right? As recorded by price records. So somebody is asking, uh, I'll answer that question before I move there. Is there a tool or way to calculate plus T and plus K values? I mean, in investing, dot com or a trend. I, I haven't seen, you see, these uh, free platforms are a, in Sinhalese, there's a say, saying that lava what you heal at the end. So if, what you, if you, somebody is offering something free, you, you see, it'll be just a, uh, an excuse for technical analysis. So uh, if you are a serious investor, investing millions and billions in the market, it's, it's a few dollars more. For a few dollars more, you can get the benefit of uh, Metastop. It's, uh, and uh, get it and then you'll uh, understand it. Or, yeah, what, in, anyway, all our... Uh, 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 single and Single and Single and We'll explain that also in single is short. No, we'll continue. Right. I to know a gee haggy after singling accumulation. Right. Right. Mang Waker, you would now Villa Dino and Singer and Lukia. Hurry. May the Maya be. Tora got the Tora got the again at the in history. We have been, uh, uh, you know, in uh, stock markets in Sri Lanka, uh, emphasize in Sri Lanka that, uh, you know, it's dominated by uh, fundamental analysis where we use uh, company specific uh, fundamentals and uh, will uh, and uh, we have found uh, and also their past performance. And uh, so according to those criteria, these are the, uh, I think we have nine stocks here, which have been doing well, right? And uh, are supposed to do well in the near future, which uh, um, therefore we have uh, included them in a short analysis just to show you how we can use the indicators we have learned uh, in this uh, in this uh, short uh, analysis of new indices. One is LOLC, Lanka Voltai, Royal Ceramics, Expo Lanka, Lanka Tiles, Swiss Tech. I think all these have been, their fundamentals have been explained very well in the uh, take the fundamental analysis programs that had preceded my program. So you know already everything about it. Right. Let's look at Expo. Right. Uh, that's the Fibonacci line. Right, uh, where well, you see that, uh, unfortunately, this, can we move this uh, to this, uh, there you go. We don't want much about the history. We want the current thing, what's happening now, right? Imagine uh, in technical analysis, one thing you must remember, though the, the past is important, just to find these numbers here, like uh, Fibonacci retracement level, 
and uh, uh, what is really important is what is happening now because we are trading at the current price and uh, uh, out of all these levels 150 right 50 and 100 are not Fibonacci levels, but uh, they are really uh, reference points, 50%. Last time, of course, even the market came to the 50%, then people started selling off, right, like this. Now that, that was a needless thing. It, it was just a milestone, not a retracement point. So also it's 100%. It's a, a milestone that you must uh, celebrate. Uh, sorry, the hundred percent is uh, we have passed the hundred percent in in the case of Expo, right? From here to here, we have passed the hundred percent. So people have learned uh, not to get. Panic when it reaches 100%, you can cleave through it just as if a knife is going through butter, right? And, uh, you know, like just like that. We are reaching 100% level in uh, ASI also, so it, it will cleave through it. What is it? Because from there, We'll uh, use a Fibonacci fan instead of Fibonacci retracement because we use retracement when it falls down, right, to a low level like this and start recovering. There, there's an even lower level somewhere here. There you are. Yeah? Somewhere here. From that low level, it's from this high to a lower level, lower level. And uh, on its way back, it's on its way back. It will go through that, cleave through that, yeah, just with, uh, you know, very, uh, I mean, considerable remarkable leads. Just like uh, it came through the 50% level, it will cleave through that as well. The long blank area, the entire space, is available plus up there, then it will start with the old, uh, you know, uh, 23.6 percent, 38.2 percent, right? Then 61.8 percent, which are Fibonacci levels. So you have to be careful at those levels. Just ignore the, you know, unfortunately, we can't draw it with a different color, or I think, unless you deliberately change it. The default color is the same. So when you put blue color, it goes to even the 50% reference line and the 100% line. Right. So that's uh, Expo Lanka. And uh, Right. That's the on balance volume on it. You know, PSR we saw it before. Yeah. That's the, you see the parabolic uh, stop and reverse it's showing up, and uh, which I have de I already you know, covered in a previous uh, program or in, in the very first pro program. If you find uh, uh, parabolic uh, stop and reverse uh, dots, okay, uh, you can uh, see that uh, when the dots appear below, it's prompting you to buy. When the dots appear on top, prompting you to sell. So we do a uh, Quick change because we have seen that we are getting the on balance volume near vertical. See, in these indices, just for completion's sake, we are showing a 
we are showing a, a, the historical ones. The historical uh, records are needed only for Fibonacci. And uh, just to see from where the decline started to where it went. But as far as we are concerned, what we want to know is uh, where is it now? This area is of paramount importance. What is happening tomorrow is determined by what is happening today and a few days ago, but not uh, say 100 days ago. So therefore, see that, uh, uh, you know, uh, you look at this part of the chart, except when you are looking at uh, Fibonacci retracements. Okay. RSI. The RSI is high. Okay. Uh, you see, the RSI is about this level, which is almost 95, which is a, a fairly hefty figure. So you have to be careful uh, that, uh, you know, it might start uh, consolidating somewhere here before moving up. When the RSI is high, it, it shows that the, uh, the stock is very strong. Right? Earlier people thought it's showing overboardness. Uh, in a way it's overboard, but uh, uh, that doesn't mean uh, that's a point uh, from to sell. It could move horizontally even, right? For a while. You look at the MACD, it's a definite clear buy. The short period moving average going vertically up and uh, the long period moving average starting to edge up. It is starting to edge up. How do you, how do you say it's starting to edge up? See the estimate the distance between here and in this blue line. And here, and this, this blue line is definitely a small amount more. If you want, uh, you can keep a ruler and determine it. And uh, you see that uh, or crosshairs, you can develop crosshairs on your uh, technical analysis program. And you see that it's uh, slowly bending up. And uh, uh, a word about uh, MAC is that when this is down here, people, even when it is here, say it's here, it's very imminent that it's going to cross. We, we since of late, have been calling it uh, very optimistic. Yeah, we're very optimistic about going up. So it goes up, even for a short while, it'll go up. And then maybe it will tumble, but it will go up. So at this point, we can stay, start buying buy and maximize your profits. You don't have to. Theoretically, you have to wait till it crosses. But practically, if you like uh, a few uh, rupees more, you can start buying when it's approaching this. Because has it approached this and turned down? No, it won't. If it comes with enthusiasm, it comes up to the line, it's very likely to go up. That is why instead of saying uh, sell at this point, our analysts have been saying uh, uh, very optimistic. There's nothing wrong with that. Even Expo is now performing 
out at the V B line. Yeah, there if uh, it is, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, uh, see uh, the what is overboard is when this one goes above it. It has gone above it. In fact, it has uh, overtaken it. But at the same time, you can see that the Bollinger band has turned up and is going up. What, what it says is the volatility of uh, upward volatility has increased. So the plus two standard deviation, which is indicated by this upper Bollinger band, naturally has increased. But if it goes here, leaving the band here, then uh, it's time to panic that it's getting terribly overboard. I admit that uh, it is slightly overboard because it's, it has gone above the line. Eh? Above in the sense is it has gone even beyond the line. So uh, that shows uh, people know better than the people who are in the market, people outside. So. Uh, some people are buying it, buying it whatever the Bollinger Band or whoever says what, they are buying it, right? That is, that is called very enthusiastic buying. Then uh, that is exposed. Uh, now, this is what I said. Now, K and D, what you have to do is just to highlight this. And mind you, this is the, uh, the scale of uh, percent K and uh, percent D. And you see that even a blind man can understand that percent K is more than percent D, right? So if percent K is more than percent D, that is what uh, the stochastic oscillator can uh, say at the moment, definitely it's a time to buy. So there's conflicting, uh, uh, so it's up to you to decide. Stochastics definitely say it's buy. It's more. Not to this side, you, you don't measure on this scale, you measure on the vertical scale. Keep a ruler or a piece of paper and see edge of a piece of paper and see that it is definitely above. As long as it's above. Now here, it opposite is the case. Here, you draw a vertical line, K is below the D line, which is uh, prompting people to sell. That is why Expo came down. Right. Good, you're asking questions. Accumulation uh, distribution uh, for Expo. People are definitely accumulated. No two words about it. People are accumulated. What is the ADX saying? Current trend is, see the ADX line, the blue line, it's aging up, showing that current trend is up. Okay. Plus DI line says that it's the upward trend that is up. Right. We have the Fibonacci lines on LOLC, and uh, you see uh, it has just crossed the 31.8 line. Also. It has ended high above the line. 
So there isn't any barrier up, up to 31, uh, uh, say 23.6 above the line. When it crosses, we'll be drawing the Fibonacci lines above them. That is uh, when it goes to 600 or so. Parabolic uh, stop and reverse. Bye. There's no question about it. OBV. Bye. No, no questions about that. Right? OBV is uh, near vertical. So, on balance volume, people are aggressively buying and very seldom selling. RSI is also naturally rising when the stock rises. It's going to rise like that, RSI would rise. It has risen to almost uh, uh, 80%, sorry, right? 80 or 85%. Very strong. MACD came close to uh, touching the red line changed uh, its mind and started moving up. So, it's uh, a definite buy signal. Bollinger Bands, standard deviations are widening and the stock is following that. So, uh, all in all, the outlook is very bullish for LOLC. So also is uh, the stochastic K percent is above the percent D. So percent K is above the percent D. Therefore, the prompt is a by prompt. Accumulation distribution. No doubt about it, somebody is seriously accumulating it. Average directional movement index. You see uh, uh, the, the blue line. It's up. Whatever the trend that is prevailing, which is, of course, you can see very clearly it's an uptrend, is very strong. That is what you uh, infer from an upward return ADX curve. If, if at all one day they start selling it, this will curve down and come down. And the uh, negative uh, Directional movement index, the red line, will uh, go up. And the positive directional index, the green line, will turn down. Okay, and uh, that is when the right bill or Brown's investments. PSR says by Fibonacci levels or Brown's. We have uh, it just uh, at the threshold of 31.8. Oh, sorry, the 61.8. Right, uh, and uh, sorry, uh, and uh, we'll have to watch how soon it'll jump for this and makes a move to go back to the 100% level. Right, 
and uh, on balance volume is flat. Saying uh, naturally, you can see from this, uh, this uh, there's a doji, uh, a candle which is which has no body. We call it a doji. That doji shows that, uh, uh, and this uh, OBV curve is near horizontal, and uh, no, nobody is aggressive by. RSI is around 60 odd level and uh, well uh, uh, it's not that strong at the moment right it's not weak also but it's not that strong at the moment the MACD, we can say that you are optimistic. It's, uh, it has to come this way. And, uh, but uh, the long-term moving average is almost flat. Right? Hinting a little coming down also. So you have to watch the stock. Nothing to talk home about it. Uh, yeah, it's nothing uh, much to say about uh, Bill. So also at the Bollinger Bands, though it's touching the upper Bollinger Band. That means the bias is towards buying. It has to push this uh, standard deviation up to uh, turn the the two SD line up. So this is a, a good example of a pretty neutral share. The share is not not here, but here. So it's not you can't say it's an extremely weak share, but its uh, strength is uh, not as much as what would uh, write home about, okay? K percent is impressive. K percent is above, well above D percent. So on stochastic basis, K percent is above the D percent. Therefore, that's the only one. Hmm. When Expo and LOLC become up. All right. So, uh, this uh, share, though stochastic says buy, so you can't sell it also. So, uh, might as well. Uh, it's something you must watch carefully. Browns investment, the current trend is up. People are accumulating, obviously, but uh, not aggressively, so it's, it has turned flat. You can say they are accumulating, they are, nor are they dumping. So they are pretty neutral about it. Average directional movement, the blue line is flat. You can see a flat blue line. You will notice that I am looking at the edges of this. Just for completion sake, though we show it from uh, here to here, what matters is this end of this uh, end of this line. So if you know what this line means, I mean, what you have to concentrate on is this end. 
that tail. We need to look at this only to determine the Fibonacci line. So don't waste too much line uh, time. Pretty hair, so where it started dropping or where how far it has gone down. But what is most relevant is what is now happening. So at the moment, you have a, a flat ADX. Neither accumulating, no district, you know, it's an the average directional index is uh, uh, more towards a uh, uh, horizontally moving tendency. Plus dx and uh, minus dx are coming close to the green line and the red line are coming close to each other. Desktop? Right. <coughs> Deep products. Well, has again started moving. Uh, it's mainly uh, the Fibonacci line has been. Uh, 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 no, it's the 50% line that has been cut. There's a Fibonacci line to be 61.8% line. Watch it when it reaches 62.50. There could be a retracement at this level. Right? Therefore, uh, watch what the share as it passes that line. If it goes with uh, considerable lease, that's a good sign. Deep products uh, here. <coughs> it's uh, having a, a good PSR, you have the uh, PSAR is uh, good uh, with the uh, parabolic showing by. These uh, Haley's group shares uh, currently uh, paying uh, their dividend cycle has come. So just about to pay dividends, people start buying. But after the dividends are received, many people think uh, you should sell it. I don't know, but uh, so some people do sell. Uh, so you get a flat area after the dividends. And uh, it's also very sensitive to uh, uh, COVID-19 because uh, they are the producers of uh, rubber gloves and the demand for gloves are going up in the west right so that's on balance volume it's going up definitely you see uh, there's there are more buyers than sellers right more buyers than sellers so we can't see the order book Unless you are, a, of course, you are older, believed, or you have a program with uh, order books, so you will see that people are jumping onto the uh, the buyers are jumping onto the seller side and buying at higher prices. That is what Toby B says. RSI is high, right? Uh, it's all will come into the 85% light, no 90% light, right? So, though, uh, bordering on the overboard side. 
That is why it's moving up very slowly. You can see a doji here. Right. Short period moving average. It has crossed the long period, but the long period one is still uh, horizontal. So this has to curve up. And this one must uh, convincingly go up some more. Uh, but all in all, the MACD says buy. There's no doubt about it. I can't uh, grind my words about that. Then we have the dip products in the Bollinger Band. It, has, it is trying to push the upper standard deviation, two standard deviation line up. And the long term moving average line there has, though the, in the MACD it has not turned up, in the Bollinger Band, the long term moving average line in the middle is uh, curved up. It's a positive signal. You can't say it's bad, though the share since of late had not been going up aggressively. Uh, the, its technicals are good. Right. K percent is higher than the D percent, you can see. K percent is above percentage D, and therefore it's a buy signal on the stochastic also. All in all, uh, a buy on the deep product is. Uh, Is very much on the cards. Accumulation distribution. Definitely, there's no, the, the accumulation phase has come down. People are not aggressively accum accumulating. For that to happen, this must go up. Right. We'll see whether it will happen. That is why the, the, the share is a bit sluggish at the moment. The products uh, directional index is moving down. That uh, we can see, obviously, from the price performance during the past few days. Tile. Lanka tiles cautiously moving up above the 61.8 line and uh, after a few hiccups here it's definitely moving up. Right? Uh, we can say that it's a buy signal. On that, PSR says buy. OBV says buy. Turned up, almost near vertical, you can see. Well, very much more than the 45 degree line. So, on all counter style is a buy. RSI, the relative strength index, is uh, well just uh, above 70 and uh, between 70 and 75. You can see 70 and 75, bordering on 75. So, a fair RSI, not weak. The shah's uh, relative strength is high. MACD, you can be optimistic that it's going to con come and cut it up. This is uh, near horizontal red line, the long term moving average. 
the short term moving average is edging up it's a it's a share which is uh, having a lot of potential bollinger bands the central line is moved up it's almost hit in the two standard deviation plus line and uh, it's a, a bullish tendency it has long way to go to push it up some more right so all in all uh, everything is bullish about lanka tiles definitely stochastic says by percentage k or percentage d this is higher than this so therefore stochastic says by as i told earlier i'm not looking at this part all it matters only this part of the graph is important jinendra uh, and udana please note uh, to curtail it to this size so that you emphasize the real area to which we must concentrate our attention accumulation people have started uh, accumulating not very aggressively but uh, see this this was aggressive accumulation that's how the lanka tiles came up yeah when it accumulates a lot you get a near vertical line so this is uh, about a 45 degree line they have started accumulating adx line average direction of movement is uh, turning up though it had been low it started turning up the positive directional movement has become horizontal and the negative directional movement has become tilted down so all in all uh, tile you can be very optimistic about it lanka wall tiles you have uh, fibonacci levels it has come to 100% level and also it has at the last uh, tra trading day on saturday it has exceeded that so uh, when it does uh, say perhaps go somewhere up here we'll have to draw our fibonacci fans and fibonacci lines up there in that area we we'll bring this down and start drawing it up okay parabolic says by obv says by it's, it's uh, more than 45 degrees rsi rising but it has not risen to alarming levels right uh, like here and uh, in may cd as uh, the short period in may cd as at the long period so two things will happen this has to go up and this has to curve up when that happens we can be uh, we can say it's a strong buy at the moment also is definitely nearby 
Bollinger band pushing the upper standard deviation and the standard deviation line is moving up. So we can't say overbought, but we can say very actively, aggressively bought. Any questions? Any reflection on the summation? Yeah, definitely. It is, a, it, it is the sum. There, somebody is asking, is the ADX line a reflection of the summation of uh, D plus and D minus line? So that is uh, directional movement index up and directional movement index down. Minus. It is. Right? So, uh, that's the average direction. So, uh, Lanka volatiles, you see that uh, the K percent or percent K really is much above the percent D, the black line. Red line is above the black line. Mind you, I am not telling you it's more to the left or more to the right. That is irrelevant because the scale is vertical. You see, that is the that is the stochastic scale. Percent K and percent D are measured on this scale. This is the price of the security. So you have to look at this side, this vertical distance. It's vertically up and is higher. It's a buy signal from the stochastic. Accumulation distribution, people are accumulating. No two words about it. The buyers are aggressively buying and accumulating. Whatever reason, accumulation is more than the distribution. More buyers than sellers. Right. ADX, average directional move. Average directional movement is up. The, the positive directional movement index is pulling it up. The negative directional movement is going down. The lump of all time is, is what we can call a, a bullish share. Royal ceramics. We have a, a very aggressive buying. It's about the 61.8 and Fibonacci and it's moving up. It reached the 100% and I think it'll, it's going to cleave through there this time. There may be perhaps a little consolidation, but it might go up. Parabolic, buy. Buy now, do you know that. OBV, buy, definitely, near vertical. RSI, going up, but not alarming behind. Very strong, quite strong, you can say. Right, when you go here, you can say very strong. It has gone almost up to 100, well above 90. And uh, so uh, RSI is uh, in a very strong position. I don't know why somebody has said uh, Lower side, okay. That's how to interpret it. And uh, bowling, oh, we had the bowling comment. Okay. All right, MACD. People are would say it's uh, you are very optimistic because this uh, short term RSI 
is moving towards it. Uh, this is almost flat. So two things must happen. This has to end up. And this one has to go and touch it and cut it. So it's a whole position on, uh, you can call it a very optimistic, particularly whole position. Because this is going up and most likely to go and cut it. <coughs> Bollinger Bands trying to push the upper standard deviation, two standard, upper two standard deviation, and uh, likely to push it up. <coughs> <coughs> it's curved up. The central line is curved up. So it's a buy signal on the uh, royal serving. And percent K is well above the percent D. Stochastically, Right? It is on a clear bicycle. Accumulation di distribution, people are accumulating, collecting it near vertical, moved up quite a bit. ADX, positive direction the index. Up the ADX line curved up, trying to move up. So the positive trend movement is gathering momentum. <coughs> we have Parquet or Swiss Tech before now. Symbol is Parquet. And uh, is uh, has started uh, moving up with two dojis. Uh, we see the it has it's meandering above the sixty-one point eight uh, retracement from the top here and the bottom there, which it reached, uh, and had been moving more or less horizontally and uh, though these dojis uh, point that uh, it could move uh, either way quite rapidly soon so we take the parabolic phase up Despite some red candles here, throughout uh, it has been saying up, except for that period here. It's a long period of up. OBV is edging up almost 45 degrees, nearing 45 degrees. So more people are. Uh, Jumping onto the seller side and buying at seller's prices. On balance volumes, it is a buy signal. RSI, fairly low because of these negative parts here, have been meandering uh, below the 70% line. So almost at about 60%. You can say moderately strong. MACD still in the not in the buy peak uh, area. This is slightly aging down. This is going up, but not quite come up to that. So therefore, we have to watch for a while. 
as far as Paghi. Bollinger Bands, uh, though it's about the red line, has touched the green line, but not with enough uh, price movement uh, to push it up. It is just trying to push it up. It's, a, it's what I would call an optimistic share. Percent K is above the present D, though it's very slightly so. Slightly above. Percent K is so the stochastic is positive for it, but only slightly. Accumulation, people have started accumulating. Not aggressively accumulating as they used to. Average uh, directional movement, uh, neutral. There's almost equal tendencies up as well as tendencies down. Right, the movement down of the negative uh, directional movement index and the positive directional movement is almost the same, resulting in a more or less flat average uh, directional movement to index. What is the best technique that gives the direction to sell on time? There's a question somebody asks. Sell on time, uh, well, Now you have seen uh, uh, most of the hand-picked uh, shares, which are on most of, majority of which are on the verge of buy. So others are either watch, hold or sell. So obviously what I have not shown are uh, moralists of those. Either it has gone up too much or it has uh, uh, no more space to go or no more uh, prospects of going up. No reason for people to accumulate. No, no reason for anybody, no rational reason for anybody to buy and keep. There must be some reason we, people don't buy because uh, uh, just to, now, now you don't get the shares that you can see. Those days I can remember. In Hong Kong, people used to uh, buy and wait uh, American stocks and uh, wait for the share certificate to come by post. And you have, you, and then they frame it and hang it in their bedrooms. I have IBM shares. You have a beautiful IBM certificate or a Microsoft uh, certificate. You know, uh, you are proud, but that nowadays they also don't issue a script. So, uh, uh, internet trading has uh, taken the thrill out of holding the shares. So, you, you just by holding the shares, you don't get a thrill unless you there's some definite advantage. Right. MGT, Haley's Fabrics. Now, Haley's Fabrics has broken the 61.8. Uh, as you expect from an uh, import substituting share, uh, it, is, it has moved up considerably. And uh, so on the, it is likely to go and test the 100% and beyond. <coughs> and we have the on balance volume up, say, by. We have the RSI, a little on the high side, but not too high. It's about uh, say 80 or so. And uh, moving average MACD, you see that 
it's going way up. The past the long term moving average, the short term moving average is going almost near vertical. Yeah, I don't know where I do it. Huh? So, MGT people are very optimistic. And uh, we have the Bollinger Bands, same story. The two standard deviation line is uh, going way up. And uh, you see that uh, the, the prices are pushing the Bollinger Bands. Very optimistic and very, very, uh, very positive uh, Bollinger Band outlook for MGT. Percent K way above percentage D. That's a clear buy on stochastic. Right. Accumulation, people are definitely accumulating. You can see the level they are accumulating. It's one of the highest levels it has achieved. Only rivaled by recent uh, accumulation level and this uh, accumulation level. When the indices reached uh, 9,000. ADX moving up. Positive directional movement, movement index plus D, DI moving up. Negative moving down. So you see that uh, people are very optimistic about it. Grain elevator. Had a good time, but now going flat. Right? Uh, it's just uh, hovering around the uh, 61.8 Fibonacci, right? And uh, though the parabolic is still saying bye. OBV is same by, right? RSI is uh, moderate, below 70%. It's about 65. And uh, uh, still the sh short period moving average is uh, struggling to cross the long period moving average. And the long period uh, moving average is near horizontal. So uh, it's uh, optimistic but sluggish on the MACD. Bollinger Bands. Uh, just uh, jumping up and down around the middle volume. Doesn't show a direction, whether it's a bullish or bearish. It's a neutral shaft. We seldom come across such shafts. But K percent is way above now. Since of late, people have aggressively started buying. Great derivative. Because uh, a word about stochastic, it is up to the last uh, trade, people have been aggressively buying. Okay? D percent is here, percent D, percent K is up there. Very enthusiastic. Accumulation, neutral. ADX,
తెజ్జిగా నాట్ ప్లస్ డిఐ ఇస్ మూవింగ్ హార్ ఇస్ అవర్ దట్ ఈస్ వై ఇట్స్ ఎజింగ్ అప్ స్లోడ్ మైనస్ డిరెక్షన్ మూవ్మెంట్ ఇండెక్స్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఫ్లాట్ యు సి దీస్ టూ ఆర్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫ్లాట్ దట్ ఈస్ వై దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ సో వన్ వుడ్ సే ఇట్స్ న్యూట్రల్ ఆన్ యావరేజ్ డిరెక్షన్ if you can remember right average movement uh, dire- i mean average direction of movement index is measured in the strength of the trend right any other stock uh, we have uh, we have just uh, somebody has requested john keels we'll see john keels is a uh, who oh, it's below the 23.6 రికవరీ లెవెల్ రైట్ వెరీ వీక్ ఆన్ ఫిబనాచి రిట్రెస్మెంట్ బట్ స్టిల్ డిస్పైట్ ద ఒకరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ రెడ్ ద క్యాండల్ స్టిక్ స్టిల్ ద ఈస్ అ బై సిగ్నల్ లోన్ on the PSA. OBV is starting down, saying that selling is very much uh, in war. RSI shows a falling strength. Right? Uh, about uh, 60% of 55 percent down i um, mean to uh, neutral uh, rsi but one thing is that uh, the long term moving average in the msc is uh, slightly curving up and the short term moving average has moved up showing that very recent there have been some buying interest in the share that is a doubt okay so that bowling a band edging slight enthusiasm you see this curve of h r and it's trying to push the upper bowling not very really successful but and uh, uh, this is the first time we saw percent k below the percent d a share with the stochastic negative showing that uh, definitely not a buy signal it's a sell signal so out of the stocks we saw just now up to now we never saw a stock which is selling accumulation distribution the distributive not accumulate average directional movement index adx right uh, the positive one is down ADX has slightly moved up. So, whatever direction it's moving, if it moves up or down, the directional movement is more, the trend is, uh, the, the movement along the trend is more. Then you see that uh, this uh, well it's a, almost a, a, a falling uh, positive direction and uh, ra- rise the edge, uh, very reluctantly edging up negative direction 
home bank, commercial bank, again uh, falling, right? And uh, it has come back to after hitting almost uh, about the uh, 38.2 percent. That is 38.2 percent this year has gone up almost up to 50 percent. Then they the tumbling down. Right, very weak on the Fibonacci line movement. Parabolic just at the last. Uh, Trading day has developed a sell signal. There we are. We get some sell signals also. I think that's the first time we saw a parabolic sell. Commercial bank. Well, on balance volume, definitely they sell. Down. It's down 45. RSI is falling. Oh, it's uh, not only falling, it's fallen, fallen down to 30%. So that's a rare occurrence of a weakness. That happened before, though. But uh, it's very rarely such things happen. May, April, May, it has happened. Now again, it's happened. <coughs> Who average convergence and divergence or MACD? No, 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 no optimism at all. Bollinger bands on the central Bollinger band and the long term moving average edging down. Right, one would call that a sales signal. Again, we have here a, a K percent, which is or percent K, which is below the D percent D. So you see that uh, why we didn't uh, include the shares, which we started uh, describing. Uh, at the end, were not included. Uh, they were included on the request of some people. Yes, definitely down uh, accumulation. Nobody is accumulating. You see, here yeah. a negative indication. And the ADX also falling, nobody is accumulating. Directional movement has started showing aging up, but far below from the tops. Uh, the red is climbing. The negative directional movement far exceeds everybody else. Mm -hmm. How to get the beta stocks up there? But you can get it from uh, a quiz. Uh, the beta stock is available from a quiz uh, uh, for subscription. You have to contact uh, equis.com and uh, you get a, a, a three months with the quiz, first month three or something up deal. And then you can try it yourself. <clears throat> right. Sampad Bank. Oh, yeah. People think uh, banks are strong, but it's going horizontal. Fibonacci levels, it's between 0 and uh, 23. So, uh, 
definitely on the, what in Sinhalese we call the Bahinakala, right? It's coming to all time high. Yeah? All time blues. Right. Right. Uh, and uh, there is a parabolic uh, cell law. On balance volume, cell. RSI tumbling, showing extreme weakness. MACD ends up but is falling again. Bollinger bands. Which is the lower volume of that. So, so, one of the weakest shares we saw this morning. K percent K, K, very much below percent D. A very clear cell signal on the stochastic. So, you see that uh, all shares are not equal, sort of. Now here we have the accumulation, nobody's accumulating. They are in fact selling, they are distributing. There are more sellers than there are buyers. Uh, average direction of movement index. Yeah, it's horizontal. The uptrend curves, yeah are uh, nullified by the rising down trends. So that downward movement is a sort of smothering the entire upward movement trend. So uh, all in all, uh, the price is flat. Actually, you can see it's flat. Right, thank you very much for patiently listening to us. If there are any questions, uh, you can forward it and uh, uh, we'll wind it up because uh, we are running over time and uh, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for participating. I hope you gain something. Thank you very much.